fancy. This is how you turn it on. Turn it on, and, you go, and there's a fault light if there's a problem. Green if it's on. Here's a drain. The plug is in here, you can just pull the plug. Here's a drain plug, so if you need to defrost it. Kind of, basically it's like a big cooler. And it drains out the bottom. There's no AC plug. Just like, hook it up to a car battery. Apparently Kit thinks she's a chicken. So I've been taking a little bit of a hiatus from being in front of the camera so that Jeremy can do all this awesome technical stuff with all of the solar panels and solar installation. So I figured I'd come out and say hi to you guys and uh, just let you know I'm still around. Uh, I'm actually the person behind the camera when Jeremy is um, doing all of his awesome guru technical stuff. But uh, you might notice I look a little different. Fuchsia hair. Why? Because life's too short. Me and the girls like to have a little bit of fun up here, so we're just having a little fun with hair color. Those of you guys who have been following us for a while uh, know that we have not had a freezer since we moved out here at the end of November in 2017. Um, when we moved into this place, we had the wood stove running. It was really cold and the heat from the wood stove was heating up our refrigerator too much that we had to move it out to the front porch. When we moved it out to the front porch, um, the defrost combined with the very cold temperatures uh, made the defrost run all the time and so it kept that freezer uh, completely thawed out meaning we couldn't use that freezer uh, now that spring came we moved it back inside but by this point our battery bank is so depleted and our solar panel is not very efficient that it was not running our refrigerator very efficiently plus we went through about three weeks where um, we were in between systems uh, because of the inverter problems and the controller problems if you haven't seen that video i'm going to link to it up above and so we had no freezer or refrigerator uh, and um, we really kind of missed having uh, having both so uh, getting some sort of a refrigerator and freezer unit up is a top priority for us so how do we get through the winter without having a freezer well one of the ways is because we like to can all of our meats um, having canned meats allowed us to store those in our pantry we could open those up whenever we wanted to and use those um, but now that summer is here we like to do a lot of grilling and and the downside of canned goods is that you cannot grill them. So we do want to have a freezer so that we can purchase uh, meats that can be frozen that we can then grill up or use fresh. And the other reason that we want to have um, a freezer is because we are raising Kuni Kuni pigs here. These are pigs that are going to be processed by a USDA processor in December. And uh, what we get from those pigs, we are going to sell to um, friends and family and a couple other people that they might know. Um, in order to be able to sell that, we need a meat handler's license. And to get a meat handler's license, you need to be able to store uh, meat at a proper temperature. So having a deep freezer is very important for us. Us, uh, as a business as well. So we looked into a lot of different types of freezers. There are regular AC freezers. These are the ones that you get at like a Lowe's or Home Depot or Best Buy. And then there are DC freezers. Now the DC freezers are what they consider off-grid freezers. What is the difference between the two? Well, a off-grid freezer has more insulation and it's able to run off of a battery bank. Uh, this is beneficial to us because uh, if we are, uh, say, wanting to uh, sell meat out of the back of our truck, uh, we're able to throw this whole entire unit on the back of a pickup truck with a battery and we are able to safely transport this whole freezer with its contents to wherever we need to go to sell our meat. Now, the other benefit to having a DC freezer is the compressor um, lasts a lot longer than an AC compressor and these things are a whole lot quieter which is kind of good especially when you are competing with noisy chickens in the background. So we did, like I said, we did a lot of research on these. Uh, we looked to, to what a lot of people who are currently off-grid use and the model that and brand that keeps coming up over and over again is the Sundancer uh, 225 liter DC freezer. And that's, this is the one that we ended up going with. Um, there are a lot of great reviews on this. Actually, there's nothing bad about this whatsoever that we found. Uh, and so this is the brand and model that we went with and 
Right now I'm going to turn it over to Jeremy who's going to talk to you a little bit more about the technical specs and how he is rigging this up and how um, some of the testing that he's doing behind it and uh, how that's turning out for us. Okay this freezer will run on 12 or 24 volts DC which means it'll just hook up to a battery or a bank of batteries. Right now I have it hooked up to our old system. I load tested all of the old batteries and kind of tried to figure out which ones might be salvageable. Most of them aren't any good. They're, they've got bad terminals or they're just dead. And uh, But I got four six volts put together in series. So uh, I have a little 24 volt bank that I have the old charge controller and uh, a few of the solar panels hooked up to. They're just laying in the yard just to sort of test this. And we've been running it for a couple of days. I've got it set to, uh, to where this will run directly off the charge controller on the load side of the charge controller and I got a little 10 amp automotive fuse on it so <clears throat> seems to be working really well it's been running like I said two days we got some water in here frozen water in here I've been monitoring the temperature uh, we're gonna start loading it up with meat and goodies and again the, the the reason we picked this one was so that we can take it with us uh, and or we can hook it directly to our new system all I have to do is put in a DC to DC step down converter to go from the 48 volt system down to 24 um, if you run this on 12 volts the only real difference is the light is like half as bright inside but the uh, it's super simple it comes with two two wires you know a red and a black wire just like you'd hook up any uh, automotive gadget in your car like a stereo or something now now it is kind of a manual defrost deal if you want to defrost it you just you know empty it out clean it out you can put like a pan of hot water in there to help sort of warm it up and melt the ice off the walls then you just kind of scrub it out and it's got a drain line on the bottom you can open up so you kind of clean it out like you would a cooler and you do that maybe once a year just to keep it clean and hygienic but so far it's awesome. I like how quiet it is. I can sometimes can't tell if it's even running. But uh, that's it. That's the Sundancer DC freezer. A lot of these are bad. Uh, they have bad terminals and uh, the plates are kind of junky. But I found four that work. These are um, six volt batteries. Each of these have two volt cells. And so these two volt cells are hooked in series. And then each of these batteries are hooked in series. And then they're connected to the charge controller, which is connected to leftover solar panels that are just laying in the yard. And it's working, it works pretty good. Uh, it's a cloudy day, it's keeping the battery charged. The load is uh, 1.4 amps. So this freezer draws about 44 amp hours a day at 24 volts, which is pretty efficient. And our old system is able to run it. So, so far so good. So that wraps up our DC battery powered freezer. We are really thrilled to be able to have this. Like I said, not only does it enable us to be able to have uh, fresh meat that we can grill throughout the summer and fall, but also it is a business opportunity to, for us to be able to sell uh, some of our meat that we are producing here on the farm. In some other news, uh, we are selling off um, some of our spring chicks that we had raised uh, this spring, some of our dorkings. Um, they seem to be doing pretty well here as far as sales, and we have all those sold except for uh, the two cocks that you hear in the background. Those guys are going to auction this Thursday. Uh, this week also, we are going to be getting in 25 new chicks, and uh, only which a couple are dorkings, and the rest are all a new breed. If you guys are interested in knowing what other breed we're going to be raising here on the farm, stay tuned for that. And uh, also, I think I'm going to be doing a video on um, some of the expectations of moving off-grid. Uh, a lot of you guys saw that we installed this amazing solar system that Jeremy had um, come up with, and uh, a lot of you guys are asking, so that means you guys have unlimited power, right? I think we're going to talk a little bit about that, and uh, how that really does doesn't mean we have unlimited power. So look for those videos coming up um, as well as some other projects we have going around here and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.